How's it going guys? Sean here, I'm coming at you with another lure modifying slash tech tip video. I'm going to show you how to modify your Muskie Innovations Shallerator. Uh, this isn't a huge secret. A lot of guys do this. And uh, my buddy showed me this. And uh, that's how he runs his baits. And I, it, there's a couple things that it will help you out with as far as working a uh, shallow invader. So what you're going to need, you can see I already took the hooks off this one. What you're going to need, I got a split ring pliers, a regular needle nose. And this, I mean, you can use as a regular needle nose. And I like to have two for the wire. Some wire. A uh, screwdriver, I bend the wire on a screwdriver. I don't have a tackle maker. I don't have a wire bender, you know. And uh, hook cutters, I'm going to use to cut the wire. And this is optional, you don't need this, we'll get to this later. This is a uh, shrink tube. Okay. So first thing we're going to do. Is we're going to take some wire. Give yourself enough room to play with. Wrap it around the screwdriver here. This is how I get a somewhat rounded eye. This is my tackle tackle maker. You can get them at the hardware store real cheap. Okay. Make an eye in the wire. We're gonna make this smaller. It's kind of big. the first hook eye you know get it in there gosh that's still big there we go all right so get it in your eye you're gonna loop it around obviously to secure it on there so it's just gonna pull out when a fish bites it just like you would have a wire wrapped around the beginning of a bucktail. Now when I do uh, lure stuff like this with a wire, it's usually not super pretty. I don't have a tackle maker, but it usually, oh, not usually, it works. I mean, it's just not your super professional looking. I'm not planning on uh, building and selling lures anytime soon. I'm going to cut off that little bit of excess wire right here. That's where it's going to start. Let's see if I can get that on camera good for you guys. Just like that. Alright, that's the first step. Next step, we're going to take the wire. We're going to put it in the next die. Pull it all the way through. Kind of bend this end a little bit so it's straight with the body of the lure in line. Just like that. And we're going to cut it off. Always leave yourself extra room. Rather cut it too long than too short. Because if you cut it too short, you're starting over. So we're going to cut it off right about here. Okay. And it's a simple uh, thing. We're pretty much going to do what we did for the first step. We're going to do it right about here. Putting that wire around. And then, let's 
again, I'm going to make it smaller because I don't like that huge whoop. Okay. Then we're going to twist this one around. Just like the first one. dog barking outside. Well, he's going to have to wait. Snip this part off. A little more than that. If I can get it in there. Good enough. All right, pretty much done. I'm going to throw the hooks back on and explain to you why I did this. As you can see, the new hook placement is farther back on the body of the bait. That's going to do two things to help us out a little bit when we're using this. Number one, where the hook is usually up here farther, it's really easy when you're casting for these two hooks to get ha hanged up on each other and uh, not laying, not hanging straight down like they're supposed to be. So you always got those hooks tangled up like this, and uh, that's not going to be good for hooking up on a muskie if you get a strike. That could uh, mess you up pretty good. And uh, another thing, if, if you're casting a minnow bait, I like to cast minnow baits a lot of times if it's kind of uh, the fishing's a little tough. I like to give it a jerk pause, you know, kind of rip it through the weeds a little bit. And uh, those short nippers on those days when they're biting light and they're just kind of nipping it, it's bringing that that hook back farther towards the tail. So if they kind of just take a nip at it real lightly, you set the hook. You know, it's gonna it's gonna improve your hooking percentage as well. And uh, it's an easy mod to do. You could do a you know if you got four or five shallow invaders, or shallow invaders, it's not gonna take you very long to rig them all up like this. And uh, oh yes, the shrink tube. Another option you can do is uh, take the shrink tube like you would on your double tens on the back the back hook is you could shrink tube the shaft of the hook the I-ring to the wire and heat it up and shrink it down and it'll keep that back hook uh, up against closer to the body more instead of hanging down it'll keep it up here more it's another option you could do I don't mind it hanging like this I'll run it like this it doesn't bother me but yeah, there's a mod, mod video for you guys. Like I said, it's not a big secret, but if you uh, didn't know about this, I'd suggest give it a try. Thanks for watching.